Hello siblings and welcome back to my channel. If you aren't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. My name is Sydney and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I am officially moved. I've been so bad at posting on pretty much everything, YouTube, Instagram, everything, because I've been so stressed about moving and not knowing which day I was gonna move. In my last video, I said I was moving the next day, but then I didn't move the next day, or was that two videos ago? I don't know, anyway, I'm a mess, but I'm getting myself back together now. I currently am having this like creative block. I don't know what videos to make, don't know what to post. I'm just struggling. So I thought I would just go back to like OG Sid. My channel, before I ever had to come up with video ideas, I would just vlog everything, regardless regardless of what I was doing, I would make it into something entertaining. So from now on, when I don't know what to do, instead of just missing a post, I'll just vlog because that's like where my channel started, that's where my roots are, so I'm just gonna do it. Right now, I'm in my car on my way to Walmart to go pick up a book called Supermarket by Bobby Hall, aka Logic, who is like one of my favorite rappers, and he just dropped his album called Supermarket that goes with the book. The album was so good, I literally already love every single song on it. Plus, he also dropped a song called Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, I think is what it's called. So good, and yeah, so I just really wanna go give book to support him and I really want to read it see what it's all about so I'm excited so we're gonna get a Red Bull because I'm really tired but I need to get my sleeping schedule back on track I'm gonna try to start that like tomorrow so far today I have gotten ready I went and ate brunch with my brother and then I went over and said hi to Dallin but he went to go hang out with some friends today so I don't know what to do like literally he's my best friend and all my other friends are busy so I'm just chilling don't know what to do don't know what to vlog so here we are, it's like the old days. So I guess we could listen to some music. Billie Eilish just dropped an album, so let's just let's just turn it up. Ooh, I like this one. This one is My Strange Addiction. I wanna play some of Logic's album. This one is probably my favorite. This one's called Baby. That's <laughs> so good. Oh baby, you. You got what I need. No, I can't just be a friend. No, I'll never be a friend. My second favorite is Supermarket. So good. The one I've been waiting for. Okay, so I'm gonna hit Walmart, go inside real quick, and let's go get that book. Also, April 7th, I have a really great surprise dropping. Uh, just a hint, these boxes are full of clothes, and that's all I'm gonna say. Oh! 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 Yeah, going eight like I've never bought a book at Walmart. I've never bought a book ever. I don't know where I'm going. Update, it is not at Walmart. I checked the website yesterday and it said that it was available to go pick up, but then today it's not. But it is at Target, so I'm gonna go there. So I don't really know where to begin on explaining why I decided to move home, but let's just start on moving there. So I moved there because I just graduated. I really just wanted to start my life. I was ready to get out of the house, all that, and I don't regret it. It was like an amazing experience to be able to figure out how to live on my own. You just like need to experience that, I feel like. So that was good. But then about probably two months into living there, I hadn't made any friends and I was pretty much just like sad and lonely all the time. I didn't know what to do with myself in my free time. So I would just watch Netflix and like getting on a binge of just watching Netflix all the time is so not good for you. Even though I was like going to the gym all the time, that was like the only thing that was really to look forward to was like waking up the next morning to go to the gym. And that was my social life and I had nothing else to do. I did live in a house with my siblings and my cousin, but they're usually all busy with work and stuff. And then we'd all hang out a little bit at night. I don't know it's just like I was kind of bored all the time plus it was winter so it's like what can you really do when you don't have any friends to hang out with Dad had came home from his mission and we had started talking again and then he came out to visit and I just kind of realized like I don't know what I'm doing I pretty much had a huge mental breakdown because I had to move out of the house at the end of March and I was like I don't know where I'm gonna live I don't have any friends I don't know if I even want to live here but then I felt like I would let people down or like 
I don't really know. I thought it'd be a disappointment if I moved home because I made such a big deal about moving away from home. But then I realized that it was kind of something that I really needed to do because one, Dallin is my best friend. We are gonna end up together. So why keep doing long distance? It literally sucks. So I decided to move home a lot for him. And then also just because all my friends are here too, any friends that I have, which is very little, but they all live here and it would give me something to do. Plus, I really missed my family and just having people around me all the time because being alone and isolating yourself is not good for the mind. And I felt myself like going down a path I didn't want to go down of like being sad and like, I don't know, I've done that before. I didn't want to do it again. I was like, I'm not gonna isolate myself. I'm gonna try to help prevent this. So I decided to move home. So far moving home, I have been super happy. It's only been like two days, I think, but just like always having plans, always having someone to hit up, to hang out, always having something to do, and like always having family around is so awesome. That's kind of my thoughts. I'm actually so glad I have to go to Target because I've been wanting to go look at their swimsuits. Target always has good swimsuits for some reason. It's just like the most random place, but they're kind of the plug. Yay. Target stop was quite the success. Got the book. Also, got a monster. I wanted a Red Bull, but I guess they don't sell them at Target or something. Couldn't find one in any of the like refrigerators. Wow, my car is literally disgusting. I need to clean it, but oh well. Side note, my nails really need redone, but I also broke one, so that's just really sad. I was just whipping into my house and I ran into Log, and he was like, hey, we're going to the DMV, parents are going too, so I'm gonna ride with them, because pretty much my whole family has expired licenses right now. It's only been like two weeks, so don't come at me, but going to renew my license. I didn't realize that if I'm going to the DMV, I have to retake my license picture, and everyone always looks at that. So I gotta look kinda good, so I did my makeup. I was gonna curl a few pieces of my hair, but honestly, I think it looks fine. Okay, now I just have to find my glasses. This is literally my struggle of my everyday life, is I never know where my glasses are. Maybe if I wore them, I wouldn't have this problem. I found these ones, but I like the other ones better because these ones don't really match the vibe of my outfit. But I have no idea where my other ones are, and I don't really have a choice. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna search my car for them. I just, these aren't my favorite. The other ones are my favorite. These ones are a little bit awkward. But I literally, also the problem is like, I moved so I could still be in Utah. I'm just really dumb sometimes. I thought I'd put them in my purse though because if I need them while I'm driving, then they'd be in my purse, like, duh. I didn't. So we're on our way to the DMV and we honestly have no idea what we need to take with us to renew our license, so things are going well. We're learning adulting. Even my dad is learning to adult today. <laughs> we lost the key to the safe, definitely. So we don't have a social security card. So we're just gonna uh, improvise. Goodness, update, we like made a big fiasco at the, I, the what's it called, the DMV? DMV. DW. Well, they were really nice, but there's like seven of us and we just whip in and we're like, we don't have anything we need, but we want our licenses. I guess we, because we don't have our social security cards because we're locked in the safe and we could, we don't have our 1099s and we're just struggling, but we'll renew our license one of these days. It's fine. My parents just dropped me off and now I am off to go to the movie. I'm kind of sad because I did my mascara for absolutely no reason because I didn't even get to take my DMV picture. And I look so awkward right now. I feel like these glasses are not me. Oh, I don't know. They just really don't match this outfit. At least now I can have time to look for my other glasses, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go meet up with Dallin and then go see Dumbo. I'll let you guys know how it is. It literally came out today, so. Took her on a double date. She tryna eat good, stick up on her plate. Gucci on my feet. Hi! Hi. I went to Dallin's house and now he's driving my car because he always drives my car. That's just the dealio. Anyway, we got Taco Bell. Even though I told Dallin as soon as we get back to Missouri, we're gonna eat healthy because we're going to the Dominican. But we're in a rush to go to the movies, so we gave, we, uh, slept, we. What did we do? Caved in. Caved in. I was hungry. My nose is so itchy. Dallin. <laughs> Ever since I stopped, like, forcing Dallin to love me. <laughs> Cindy! What? <laughs> since I left Dallin alone and I just, like, do my own thing and don't give him as much attention, he's, like, all over me all the time. Like, I'm just chilling and he's like, hi, 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 which is how I used to be. So, tips, always play hard to get even when you're dating. It's really great. Whoa, 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 we're dating. Can I put that in? Uh. Look how cute he is. Uh, ooh. 
Ooh, look at that jaw. Mm -hmm. If his skin looks better, oh my gosh, that was, that was intense. If his skin looks better, it's because me. I finally gave him a skincare routine. Look how big my tongue is. Whenever I'm driving, it does get really big. Whenever I'm driving, Dylan pulls my e-brake, <laughs> and one time I was going like 40, and he just pulled it, and I almost died. I've only pulled it once. It is not even the same day. It's like, no, it's just the next day. I thought it was like three days later. I don't know. My whole life is just a mess. Also, this is like the worst lighting. This is the best I can do for now. This is what my room looks like. Still working on moving in. Completely forgot to end the vlog, and I feel like this vlog was not even entertaining. I'm really trying my best out here. I kind of just wanted to throw something together to be able to talk to you guys about why I moved and why I haven't been posting because I've been super stressed with moving. But today I just started my routine again. I got up, I went to the gym, I ate some healthy food, I'm about to shower, clean my room, so I'm getting back into that routine. So hopefully soon enough I'll have some great videos coming out. But until then, this is what you get. Dumbo, Dumbo was so good. Okay, here's my dilemma. I had never seen the actual, like the original Dumbo. I honestly had no idea what the story was. I just knew it was an elephant with big ears. I didn't even know he could fly. I didn't know the situation. I never heard the story. I cried like four times. It was the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Just not okay after watching that. Anyway, beside the point, it was a really good movie and yeah. It was entertaining, so 10 out of 10 would recommend. I have some really exciting news coming. I have a lot of things dropping starting like next week, so stay tuned. Make sure to follow me on Insta because that's where I'm going to be talking about most of the stuff that is about to happen. My Instagram is Sid McGee. Trust me, you want to be there. So I'm literally so excited. I've been working on this for like two months. Love you guys so much. I will see you in the next one, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Hey